They'll get you anyway. <laughs> well then, well let's get started then. There's so, I got a million questions for you. I mean, you are your story is so remarkable. Uh, it's, it's it's just fantastic. So let's get started with how you met Paul, Paul Getty, in 1935. Oh my God, do I have to hold that? I think, yes. I think so, I think it helps. I met Paul uh, when he was introduced to me at a nightclub, the um, New Yorker in New York. I was singing there, <clears throat> and a friend of mine came into the club and brought Paul <coughs> along with her and with her husband, my brother, and they all came from another club and they wanted to hear me sing. So in they came, and I sang a few songs, and when it was over, I went over to their table and said, hi, Betsy, hi, Jeannie, hi, where, my brother, and she, Betsy said, Teddy, this is Paul, my friend from California. And I said, how do you do? And he said, hello, I, you have a beautiful voice. You should sing in opera. And I thought, this is a fine way to meet a man. <laughs> Are you a, an opera man? I mean, you give me, a, me, give me a job in an opera. I said, thank you very much. That's what I'd like to be, but I'm here and I'm happy. And so he asked me to dance. At that moment, the orchestra started and we stood up to dance, and then it stopped. And we had to sit down, and when we did, I said, Paul, what do you do? And my friend Betsy said, to, he's in oil. <laughs> I said, oil? What show is that? <laughs> you know, thinking that maybe I'd get a job. I, <laughs> I thought he was producing plays, musicals. And then they all started to laugh, and I fainted practically with embarrassment. And then Paul said, come on, let's dance. So we went off and danced. And then when we sat down, I don't know quite how this all happened. But he said, you know, you really and truly have a beautiful quality in your voice. And I looked at him. It's the first time anybody had ever said that to me. Right now 